G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Now today on the bench we've got a pretty neat new electric soldering iron kit here, as you can see. And this is from a company called F Nursey. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. And you can currently get this on their AliExpress store. Um, I believe it's actually 44% off. There's a whole bunch of different uh, options you can buy. Um, depending on what sort of price you want to spend. As you can see here, I've got five different tips with this particular kit, but um, you can choose whatever amount of tips that you want with this soldering iron and the price is reflective of that. Now, as you can see on the box, they're claiming that this is their new upgraded model soldering iron, okay? And this actually has adaptive uh, heat control. So you can actually adjust the heat via the uh, buttons here on this screen uh, it does have this little 0.96 inch ips hd screen and uh, this only weighs 61 grams so it's very lightweight basically like having a pen in your pocket so it's very portable and handy to have for all your soldering applications now on the side of the box here we've got some more information like i mentioned you've got adaptive temperature control you've got the ips color screen Rapid heat up, okay? So you don't have to wait that long for it to heat up to your desired uh, temperature. We've got adaptive high power, induction sleep, and over here it's got electrostatic protection, okay? So now on the back, we've got a diagram of the soldering iron itself. As you can see, the button layout, and it's got some specs here on this table. So there is the product size. Like I said, very portable and small. 100 watt maximum power, Type-C charging port. And over here, it tells you about the screen, uh, which I mentioned, 0.96 inch IPS HD color screen. And there's the temperature range, 100 to 450 uh, degrees Celsius or 180 to 842 Fahrenheit. Okay, and this is the HS-02A model that I've been sent. All right, there's also a B model. Not too sure the differences between the two, but there's two different model options. All right, guys, well, let's get it out of the box and uh, we'll have a closer look at this soldering iron. And um, I'll show you the different tips that I've got here on the bench as well. All right, guys, so in opening the actual box, we've got this really nice hard case here, which I really like. And inside we have everything that we need. So actually we've got a extra tip here. This would be just a normal kit version when uh, you don't buy those extra tips that I have on the bench there. So you get the one tip. We also have the C-type charger with another power point end there. Okay, and this looks like it might be a quick start guide. It's in Chinese and English. There you go. So a bit of a quick rundown here. And we also got some QR codes here. So you got the QR code for the full instruction manual and also a YouTube video. That's pretty neat. And once again, we've got a table of uh, specs just there. Here is the standard tip that comes with the uh, soldering iron itself. And they include this little soldering iron stand. It's just a basic one that you usually get with you know, rather cheap uh, soldering irons and you got that little uh, pad there to clean the tip. And here's the unit here, guys. This is the HS02A model soldering iron. So as you can see, really nice unit. Now this casing of the actual soldering iron itself is actually made out of CNC metal. So it's gonna be pretty durable. You know, a lot of uh, soldering iron, the casings, the standard ones are plastic. Got the little 0.96 inch LCD screen, OK button, up and down button. And in the middle here, we've got this handy silicon grip for when you're using this soldering iron itself. And then we've just got this end cap so we can change the tips over that we're gonna use. Now talking about tips, we've got five extra ones that they've sent me, okay? Including the original one here, all right? So this is the 02AB tip, that's what came in the case. We've got the 02A-C2, so let's have a look at that one. That's just your standard tip, rounded off tip. We've got this one here, which is the 02A-KU, which is more of a smaller bladed style tip. 
This one is a 02A. This one is a 02A-K. And this is a larger spade style tip. We also have the 02A-I, which is a pointy tip, like a needle sort of style tip. And last but not least, we have the 02A-JS, which is a curved pointed tip, as you can see there. And here is the 02A-B, which is the one that came in the case, which is another pointy edge tip, but it's more rounded off. It's just a standard one. Okay, now to install a tip into the soldering iron, you just twist this cap. Then it's just a matter of inserting this end of the actual soldering tip and just pushing it in place. It's just a press fit, just like that. Okay guys, so in order to power on this unit, okay, you're gonna to have to plug in the C-type to power supply cable here. Now, because they don't supply you with an actual transformer that plugs into the wall, you're gonna to have to have one of these with the corresponding you know, jack plug here to plug it straight into the lead that they give you. So if you don't have one of these, you're gonna to have to go out and get your own separately because they do not provide you with one in the kit, all right? So I'm just gonna plug this into the wall. Okay, I'm gonna plug the other end into the soldering iron, and then I'm gonna turn the unit on from the wall. Then you can see the LCD display lights up, and we've got a blue LED for the OK button here. So we're just gonna hold that down. As you can see, there's some uh, options there that you can scroll through up and down. Just three options, sleep set. Let's have a look at that. Quick press and you've got the sleep timer. Now I've been playing around with this already, um, just now. This was set to half an hour, which I set to five minutes. You don't want it in uh, standby mode or you know sleep time mode to wait 29 minutes or half an hour, which it was set at. So I've just set it to five minutes. So if I'm not using it for five minutes, it will turn this uh, soldering iron off. Now to get into there, you just gotta press it quickly and you go on and off. And as you can see, I've set it to five minutes, all right? Hold it down to get out of that. You've got standby time, same sort of thing. If you're in standby mode, you can have it to half an hour. I'm gonna change that. Okay, I'm gonna have it on. Quick press a couple of times and then we can go down I'm just going to change that to about 10 minutes. Actually, I might as well put it to five, five minutes, like the sleep timer, all right? So hold it down to get out of it. And then you've got the sleep temperature, same sort of deal. You can set that as well. Now we've got our the sleep set menu. You can go down to the handle set one. Same thing, quick press. And you got your preset temperature. Okay, you got your voltage and your power. So if I go into preset temperature, you got three different uh, saved channels here. So the first one, as you can see, is set at 300 degrees. Of course, you can change that. Okay, press it again, 330. Press it again, 360. You can change it all the way up to, you know, 450. Okay, and you can preset it. So yeah, it's just like a quick setting that you can just jump to. If you memorize, you know, which ones are which, 310, I want a, a bit of lower heat, you know, just go to channel one, go to channel two for 330, and then if I want a lot of heat, 445, which I just set just now. Hold it down, you get back out of it. And you got your voltage. Okay, different voltages. I'm just gonna leave it 20 volt. And then we've got power, 65%. So you can bring that right up to 100. We've got step, five degrees, temp calibration as well. And then we've got system set. Let's have a look at that. Language, all right, we're gonna keep that in English, of course. Hand mode right, I guess you could switch it to left as well. Unit, Celsius or Fahrenheit, volume on, brightness. And firmware update, so it's even got a firmware update. That's uh, that's pretty cool, 
All right, and an about page, factory data reset. So yeah, quite a few options on this unit. Okay, so as you can see, we're back on the main screen here. Now, in order to turn the unit on and start using it, you can see, just press the OK button and you've got the three preset temps. All right, and then you can actually manually just increase the temperature and you can hold it down and it'll go all the way up to 450 degrees. If you want to go back down in temperature, you can bring it down that way or just press it quickly to increase or decrease in five degree increments. All right, guys, well, that's going to wrap up this video on the F Nursey HS02A Smart Electric 100 Watt Soldering Iron. As you can see, you get a neat carry case to put your uh, soldering iron in. You get the little stand there and cleaner tool, as well as a bunch of optional uh, soldering tips as well. So if you're interested in having a look at purchasing one of these 100 watt electric soldering irons yourself, I'll leave links to the F Nursey store on AliExpress and you can see all the different options uh, that this particular model comes in. All right, guys. So thanks very much for watching once again, and I'll catch you on the next video.